In pack three, we're going to be starting work on the passenger cabin, and the passenger cabin is going to be in two parts, and pack four will be part two. Now, to begin with, take the two laser cut plywood pieces that you can see here, and these have parts 3B, okay, 3F, and we have another fret here with part 3A as per the instructions in section 2. So carefully remove the parts from the frets, okay, and then once you've done that, give them a bit of a clean up with some memory paper, okay. As we can see here, and put the frets to the side. Now, once again, when we're doing these, only remove the parts once they are needed. Okay, so once you've done that, get the parts, give them a good clean up, removing any of the edges. Okay, and then just test fitting as per the instructions so that we can see how the parts actually fit together. And then what we're doing is once we've done that, we're then going to glue them using your preferred method that can either be CA glue or wood glue okay PVA based wood glue okay so go ahead remove those three parts from the fret and then glue them together okay now take a right angle just make sure that everything's at 90 degrees okay before the glue dries and then once you're happy with that take part 3G from the fret and then once again notice the position okay and then fit that as per the instructions in the first slot from the other parts that we've just fitted so just test fit that and you'll notice that that will go in that position like so once you're happy with that glue that into position and then once you've done that continue with the remaining frets which are 3M, 3J, 3O, 3L and 3I. Okay and then once we've done that we'll come back to part 5 on the instructions of page 39. Just double check, make sure that everything's sitting nicely, okay, at 90 degrees. One thing that you will notice, there is a slight curvature, okay, and that is because of this rib frame here, all right? So it's not going to sit perfectly flat because there is curvature to the bottom of this section here, okay? So that when you hold it flat and you hold your right angle against it, if you sit it in this bottom corner with the right angle up against there then you should be at 90 degrees okay but you will notice that it will rock slightly on the ribs and that is because of the bottom curvature okay that goes underneath so just make sure that and just make sure that all your ribs are perfectly seated in but do not worry okay that they're all sitting sort of like, you know, dead flat because they're not supposed to be because of the curvature of the fuselage, the underneath of the fuselage due to aerodynamics, okay? Now, next we need to get the fret that we removed the main parts from and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing parts 3E, 3D and 3C or we could go the other way, 3C, 3D and 3E and they are these three ribs here. So carefully, once again, remove these ribs, okay? Give them a clean up with some sandpaper, some emery paper, very fine, just to get rid of where the laser cuts and the little tabs are, okay? And then next, we're gonna be gluing those into position on part five of page 39, as shown in your instructions, okay? So when we come back, we will have those fitted, okay? Now, as you can see, we have got part 3C in position. Notice the curvature, the way that it curves around the fuselage. Okay, so test fit it before you glue it into position. 
okay? If the ribs do not line up, then you've got it around the wrong way. Next, I'm going to get part 3D once again. Notice the positioning of the ribs, okay? And once you're happy, test fit those into position like so, making sure that everything lines up and you're getting the curvature of the fuselage. Once you're happy with that, then glue that into position. And then last but not least, we're gonna be removing part 3E from the fret and then gluing that into position. So once again, quite easily, with a very sharp hobby knife, as you've done previously, carefully remove the fret, the part, that some fine sandpaper just clean up those edges once you've done that test fit that in position as shown on image 5 of page 39 and then once you're happy glue those down into position okay once you've done that and that's dried remove the final three pieces from the fret and that are parts 3H, 3K, and 3N. And then glue those into position as shown on step six of page 39. Okay, so taking part 3N, making sure that we've got the right part because it will be longer. Test fit that into position. Once you're happy with that, glue that into place and then once again do exactly the same with the other parts okay now as you can see that's the framework completed for the first part of this stage okay and then next we're going to be moving on to the assembling the second part of the passenger cabin. So get your fret with all the part components for, okay, that you can see here, if you can hopefully just see these, and then following the instructions from part seven onwards, start constructing the second part of the passenger cabin in exactly the same way as we did the first part and then once we've done that we'll then come back with the two halves and we're then going to be putting the two halves together okay Now, as you can see here, if you follow the instructions, we've now gone from steps seven, eight, and nine by placing all the ribs for the rear part of the passenger fuselage, okay? Now, obviously, we've still got a little bit more to do with these by putting a lot of the assembly around here, okay? Um, so that when we come to finishing off we're going to be gluing these two halves together like so so next we're going to continue with stage or part 10 on page 40 of your instructions and we're going to be putting the strengthening ribs along these sections here as we did with the previous half section okay Okay, now as you can see, we've got the main horizontal ribs, which are 4E, 4D, and 4C in position. And next, we are going to be fitting the ribs that go in between, which consist of 4H, which goes here, and 4K then 4N, and then 4Q. Once we've done that, we're then going to be getting some of the 2mm diameter bamboo dowel, 
that was supplied with pack 2 from the previous pack and we're going to be putting them in the location holes on the end okay so just look at the photographs and the instructions on parts 10 and 11 and then we'll come back to part 12 on page 40 of the instructions where we join the two halves together okay In part 11, on page 40, you need to take the 2mm diameter bamboo down that was supplied with pack 2 and cut 4 small pegs, each 3mm long. Okay. Now, once you've done that, just pointing them out, you need to glue them in the holes, which is just here and also just here and then once you've done that turn them around and then glue them in this hole here and once again in this hole here let them thoroughly dry before we glue the two halves of the fuselage sections together now once the two sections are completely dry and you've placed your two little dowels on each end okay of the fuselage we're now gonna be fitting the two halves together okay so first thing that we need to do is we need to test fit to make sure that everything sits and aligns nicely okay get your clamps ready and then once you're happy that the two parts align nicely like so okay apply lightly apply some glue to both the surfaces and then glue the two halves together okay and then once you've done that get your clamps and clamp the sections down making sure that there's plenty of time for a little bit of movement that you need to adjust and allow that to thoroughly dry preferably overnight Now once that's thoroughly dried and you've got the two sections together, remove part A1 from the fret and as you can see here, glue that into position. Okay, once you've done that, then tie take part A2 as shown in step 14 on page 41 of your instructions, test fit. And once you're happy, get ready and then glue that down into position. You might have to do some slight adjustments, okay, with some sandpaper just to get that to, to fit nicely, okay. But once you've done that, glue that down. And then next, we're going to be putting all the stringers in the notches along the fuselage including along the bottom as well now if you notice on step 16 of page 41 of your instructions there's a section okay that we do not put any stringers on okay so the stringers will actually stop at this area here okay and the reason being is that there are some features that are going to go in there later on in the build okay so once again once you're happy glue that down into position and then set that aside and allow that to dry and then next we'll be continuing with step 15 to step 17 applying the stringers and then finally in step 18 applying some wood filler around certain areas and then painting the assembly green as we've done with the previous steps and stages and leaving that to dry okay now take your fuselage half that we constructed earlier and get some super glue get a toothpick 
and get a plastic bag and then a tiny small amount of super glue on the plastic bag get one of your stringers and it's exactly the same as we've been doing before and then a little dab of super glue on one of the notches just get your stringer ready and then placing that down into position okay allow that to dry and then as we've already done with the stringers two stringers along the top here if you can see those we then just gently and slowly start gluing those down with a little bit of super glue working your way along okay once you've done that in the position there once you've done that get that to stick just work your way all along as per the instructions and then next we'll come to the bottom section of this fuselage half Now as you can see we've added the stringers to the outside of the fuselage half and we've also done along the bottom as well making sure that these two areas here there's no stringers and the reason for that is because you've got the die cast parts that came with this pack that are going to be going in there later okay now the only thing that you need to do okay with the stringers is you've got two more stringers that go on the inside okay and that's obviously to help support the lining so do those and once you've done those last two stringers get it primed up with some wood primer and then paint it green as we've done before with the same colour as we've done with the crew compartment now once you've fitted all the stringers as per the instructions you should be on step 18 of page 41 of the instructions and you should have your fuselage passenger path that looks like this okay once that's all done put that aside and then later on we'll be adding some more details in future steps